Rioters here in Paris have set cars and buildings alight, looted shops and clashed with police as protests turned violent once more in the French capital. On a third weekend of so-called yellow vest demonstrations, almost 300 people were arrested and about 100 injured, including 20 members of the security forces. Police fired stun grenades, tear gas and water cannon to disperse protesters at several sites in central Paris, including the iconic Champs-Élysées Avenue. Alison Sargent has the latest. A Parisian symbol transformed into a site of protest. As night fell, police were still struggling to restore calm to the French capital, evacuating yellow vest protesters from flashpoints around the city, from the historic stock exchange to the Tuileries Gardens. It all began at the Arc de Triomphe Saturday morning. The situation got out of hand as protesters tried to force their way through a police checkpoint. Authorities began making arrests and firing tear gas. They must not see us as rioters because we were provoked. The French people are suffering and Mr. Macron scorns us. He looks at us with his arrogance. By midday, protesters had taken over the Arc de Triomphe tagging it with the message, the yellow vests will triumph. Some gathered underneath the arch, around the tomb of the unknown soldier, and joined together in singing the Marseillaise, France's national anthem. As the day went on, the protests became more violent and spread to areas across the city centre. Rioters mixed in with the yellow vests built barricades in the streets, breaking store windows, setting fire to buildings, and burning dozens of cars. Panicked shop owners barricaded themselves in their store and attempted to calm a shaken customer. Look at me, look at me, breathe. I don't understand. It's incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. The third day of yellow vest protests was the most violent the French capital has seen since the movement began three weeks ago. French president says the wave of violence and vandalism in Paris could not in any way be justified. Mr Macron said the unrest witnessed on the streets of the French capital had nothing to do with the peaceful expression of legitimate anger and he said no cause justified authorities coming under attack or businesses being plundered. Speaking at the G20 summit, he said those responsible for the unrest would be brought to justice. What happened today in Paris has got nothing to do with peaceful protests based on a legitimate anger. The people who show this violence don't want any change, don't want any improvements. They just want chaos. They betray and manipulate the cause they pretend to follow. And they will be identified and held accountable for their actions by the law.